What happens at a coronation? Coronations have remained much the same for more than 1,000 years. The British ceremony is the only remaining event of its type in Europe. However, Buckingham Palace has said that although the coronation will be rooted in long-standing traditions, it will also reflect the monarch's role today and look towards the future. It is likely to be shorter and smaller in scale than Queen Elizabeth II's 1953 coronation, with a wider range of religions represented. The coronation procession is also expected to be more modest. Queen Elizabeth's procession had 16,000 participants, and took 45 minutes to pass any stationary point on the 7 kilometers, 4.3 miles, route. This time, the King and Camilla, the Queen Consort, will travel to Westminster Abbey in the King's procession, and return to Buckingham Palace in a larger coronation procession, where they will be joined by other members of the royal family. The palace has not yet said who will subsequently appear on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. There are several stages to the service. The recognition, while standing beside the 700-year-old coronation chair, the monarch is presented to those gathered in the abbey by the Archbishop of Canterbury. The congregation shouts God save the king, and trumpets sound. The oath, the sovereign swears to uphold the law and the Church of England. The anointing, the king's ceremonial robe is removed and he sits in the coronation chair. A gold cloth is held over the chair to conceal the king from view. The Archbishop of Canterbury anoints the king's hands, breast and head with holy oil made according to a secret recipe, but known to contain ambergris, orange flowers, roses, jasmine and cinnamon. The oil created for Charles will not contain any ingredients derived from animals. The investiture, the sovereign is presented with items including the royal orb, representing religious and moral authority, the scepter, representing power and the sovereign scepter, a rod of gold topped with a white enamel dove, a symbol of justice and mercy. Finally, the archbishop places St. Edward's crown on the king's head. The enthronement and homage, the king leaves the coronation chair and moves to the throne. Peers kneel before the monarch to pay homage. The queen consort will then be anointed in the same way and crowned. How can I watch the coronation? The ceremony is likely to be broadcast live, as was the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II. A worldwide audience of hundreds of millions is expected to watch. Which crowns will be worn during the ceremony? The king will be crowned with the solid gold, 17th century, St. Edward's crown. It is exceptionally heavy and only used at the moment of coronation. The queen's death reignited the debate about how some royal gemstones were obtained by the British Empire. Much of the controversy centers around diamonds found in two other one is the imperial state crown, which the monarch will put on towards the end of the coronation ceremony, and which he will also wear when he appears on Buckingham Palace balcony. That crown contains the Cullinan II Prince diamond, sometimes called the second star of Africa. It was given to King Edward Charles VII. Uh, collectibles, this comes <laughs> less than one month before the big event. The coins include a 50 pence and 5 pounds. Their creation marks the first crowned effigy of King Charles on a coin so they will go on sale later this month. Their unveiling comes one day after Buckingham Palace confirmed Prince Harry will be present when his father is officially crowned king in Westminster Abbey on May 6th. However, his wife Meghan and their two children are not expected to attend the ceremony. Joining us now is Julian Payne. He is a CBS News royal contributor and the former communications director for the Prince of Wales, soon to be coronated as King Charles. Julian, always good to see you. Um, the question on everybody's mind, knowing that Harry is going to be in attendance but Meghan isn't, is what was, who decided that and how does uh, the king feel about the situation with Harry and Meghan? Well, I think it was naturally going to be a conversation between both sides. Thank you.